it can be hierarchically arranged so that we can talk about a partial enlightenment all the way to hierarchy, a pure, complete enlightenment. Or it is exactly what it is. Now, let's go further and say that we have an interest in people who play this game of meditation and the quest for enlightenment. And we can then say that some people reach this stage or this stage or this stage. It's possible, therefore, to run all the way up to the top. Well, let's assume one more thing, that this person <coughs> has reached a partial enlightenment and as a consequence this person is interested in going beyond the partial enlightenment. Now, why would they want to do it? If we can find out why they want to do it, it's likely we'll be able to talk about what might be common to anyone in this pursuit. If we get that, then we might be able to go from stages to conditions. And if we can go from stages to prior conditions, well then we can go back and take a look at the problem we presented ourselves for tonight. So, let's see whether you agree. Is it not likely, then, that we need a name for this person? All right? What name? George. Good, good, very good. All right, Pat. All right? There she is, Pat. Thank you for that name. And let's go further now and say, she has, in fact, now let's go backwards and call this the 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd. Right? That in her meditation she has reached the fifth stage. Now, oh. Notice the language, she has reached the fifth stage. Does that mean in the very nature of reality these stages must be in place already? Can we go further and say that's very interesting? Now whatever we say about Pat, we want to know whether we can equally say that about a group of other people who are engaged in a similar activity, right? who may in fact have reached different stages. So we want to see whether we can generalize it. Would you be willing to just take one view and say, in order to do that, it took some kind of work, right? some kind of dedication, some kind of effort, If it takes dedication and effort, then it presupposes there should be some kind of drive or energy, some kind of vital force that Pat can tap into. Now, if she can tap into that vital force, then that vital force may have caused her to turn around and take a look at herself. Right. 
That's a, a term we've run into before. We're going to call that, see, the word conversion is not a good word because some people can be converted today and they use that language without necessarily a turning about of their consciousness or psyche. So we're going to call that by the Greek name, Lucia. What's Lucia? It's that, that capacity within us to turn about and reflect upon ourselves and consider that a very important aspect of our existence, right? Okay, all right. So then, she has this going for her. She's got this. Wow. Now, does that not presuppose in our talk that prior to her effort, prior to this achievement, she must not have been enlightened at all? And therefore, she must have gone from a lower to a higher. Right. And that possibility must be part of the nature of reality. Oh, look her, look her, look her. That's an interesting movement, see, going from a lower to a higher. Uh, now, that's a very interesting concept. It's sometimes called, in the, in the Greek world, purifying. Right? The purifying of, this, of the soul. Right? So we can call this purification. Not that she's being dipped into anything, like a baptism, right? But moving from a lower to a higher by dropping the lower concern and allowing herself to merge with the higher. That's all we mean by, see, to purify from the lower, to be able to ascend to the higher. That's all we mean by purification. No. Oh. Now that we got her there, you see, what we need to do is to say, what is there interesting about that? Well, it, it, let's see, one of the difficulties with temporary expedience or glimpses, let's call them glimpses, is by the very nature of a glimpse, you don't have any staying <coughs> power. It doesn't allow you to reside there. It's a glimpse. It's a uh, tourist, right? kind of a metaphysical tourist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you can get that in a variety of ways. Any kind of energy display might wake you up into a, right? But it has no staying power. Now, what do we mean by that, see? Well, for that to be there, there she is at stage five. That means in reaching that, she can benefit by it to the degree that she is there right? she can maintain herself in that state right. possibly because she 